All right, back to it. I am ready to get out of here and start exploring around. So let's go. Oh, it's rainy and depressing. Uh, anything you can do here? It's the door to the lobby of Percy's flat. It's just a short trip up some stairs to get to his living quarters. The weathered brick building is a textbook example of the architecture in this neighborhood of London. Well, Percy's flat seems pretty depressing for now, but it's probably just because it's, uh, it's raining. The street lamp casts a dim glow on this otherwise gloomy street. Um... I guess we're walking places. Not gonna get hit by a car, right? Okay. Ooh, okay. So there's Percy's flat and the British Museum reading room. Let's go there. The librarian doesn't look particularly thrilled about you being here. Why? What, does he think the whole library belongs to him? What a jerk. Hundreds and hundreds of books are crammed into the, on the various shelves around the room. Billions and billions of books. The large golden clock seems to be a bit slow. <laughs> the reading room's computers allow access to the British Library's records. A very, a large old volume lays open here for visitors' perusal. Okay, is that all we've got here? Oh, brochures. One of several brochures decorate the... Uh... Okay, now I'm right about this grammatical error. It should be decorates because uh, uh, the subject is one, and then this is a prepositional phrase, and it doesn't really matter because the subject is still one, so it should be decorates the main desk. I know nobody cares, I'm sorry. You've heard that librarians are notorious for being repressed, but you'd rather not get into any trouble by touching this one. Yes! Touching people pays off at last. There sure are a lot of books in here. Ah, you noticed. Yes, there are. Would you care to guess who has the honor of cataloging them all? Um, you? Oh my, you are clever. You should apply for a job here. He's very cheerful. Would you mind answering some questions? If it weren't for my job description, then yes. Wow. But as it is, I don't seem to have much of a choice, do I? Wow. How's the librarian biz? I beg your pardon? Business. How's the librarian business? It's not really business at all, is it? He's got a point. It was a figure of speech. I'm sure it was. You know what? For good I asked. Done and done. What can you tell me about the British Library? It's all over St. Pan Pancras? The actual library, you mean? Yes, this is the British Museum reading room. You did notice a large sign reading British Museum when you entered. I did, yes. Ah, good. Anyway, this room used to be the British Library's reading room. But it was moved to St. Pancras location about seven years ago. Okay. You have access to the British Library's records, don't you? We do, yes. It's more convenient to access them here than at the library. Assuming, of course, you just want a brief glance through the periodicals and card catalogue. That's exactly what I want, yes. I'd like to use one of your computers. Very well. Please be aware that they are for research purposes only. I don't want to look over there and see you playing one of those games. <laughs> Games? Yes, one of those jumpy jump shooty shoot nonsensical pieces of garbage. Does this guy like anything? Today's youth wasting away in front of them instead of reading. Yeah, okay. Don't worry, I'm just gonna do some research. You can use that computer over there then. 
Thanks. I'll just be on my way. Well, first, I think I want to look at the book. Okay, fine. Be that way. None of these brochures interest you. Okay, we... It would take years to read all these books. Unfortunately, you haven't got the time right now. Can we get the time? Derp. No. Can't reach it without a ladder. But there's a ladder here. There's a ladder right here. Hey, the clock just moved. Oh, you know what? It's recording the time um, that it is right now. For me, in California. That's cool. I like that. That is really cute. Anyway, let's use one of these computers. You take a seat at the nearest computer. Um, gosh, what do I want to search? London, London clergyman makes good. Born in Palermo, Italy in 1926 to an Italian father and American mother, Genovese began his seminary schooling at 13, just before the start of World War II. He was sent to London by his parents to be educated at St. Thomas Seminary. Upon completion of his education, Genovese was dealt a tragic blow as he found out upon returning home that his family had been severely affected by the bombing of a nearby village. Genovese returned to London and became the head of St. Thomas, doing many good deeds for the local community. His fellow clergymen wish him the best as he moves up in the ranks of servitude to the Lord. Okay, well, I want to... Crap. Uh, what do I want to look up? I feel like I haven't really learned that much. Um, Diocese of London? Darn it. Let's see. St. Thomas Seminary. Oh, maybe I could find that place and, like, ask around there. Yes. Uh... Oh, crap. Which one do I want? The Archdiocese of London, Ontario. Okay, that's definitely not what I want. Invites you to begin your spiritual journey at St. Thomas Seminary. It seems this is the wrong London. Yeah, no kidding. Whoops. Oops. St. Thomas Seminary, 720 Mer Merrillbourne Road, no Northwest? No, New... I don't even know. I don't... I don't know. I don't, I don't I don't know how addresses work here. London, England. Missouri is kind of a long way off. This doesn't seem to be the correct place. All right. Well, I guess we found everything we were looking for. Let's just take one more look. Whoa. Blah, blah, blah. St. Thomas. No, okay, I think we're done here. Unless we could, like, look up joke stuff. <laughs> Several articles found, but all of them are boring. That's funny. I highly doubt I'm in here, but that would be funny. Darn. Fine. Um, Ben Jordan. Ooh! Smalem's son. Mysterious decrease in town population by Willie McDougall. Uh, I can't remember. I want to say this was the guy who was suspicious that there are witches in the town, but I don't know. I do not remember. Maybe it's just a random person. The past few days have been strange ones indeed for the residents of Smalem. It seems that a large number of notable members of the community have vanished. Among the missing are Town Constable Angus McGee and Marcus Tibbins, proprietor of the Hotel Smalem. Wallace Crim. Uh, oh, no, 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 Wallace Crim. That was the guy who was, uh, who was suspicious of the witches in town. 
Uh, he reported the arrival of an American tourist named Ben Jordan shortly before the disappearances occurred. However, Jordan has left Smalem and was unavailable for comment at the time of this writing. Wow, are people, like, not looking for me? That seems kind of suspicious. Hmm. Oh, oh God. That scared me for a second. UK's oldest living resident passes away at 115. Alice Wilkins, Smalem resident and oldest living person in UK, in the UK and possibly the world, passed away today at the age of 115. Mrs. Wilkins is survived by her two grandchildren, twins Harold and Gerald, 71, and her great-grandson Charles, 42. Hmm. Um... Simon... Oh my god, I can't even remember his last... Yeah, Simon Booth, there we go. Aww. Passed away while on holiday in Rome. Booth was born in Hadfield, England, but removed but uh, moved to Birmingham four years later. Funeral services to be held 2nd of January, pending the arrival of the body from Rome. Booth is survived by his parents, Edward and Olivia. Uh, are they not going to say how he died? I mean, how... Mm. Whatever. Ooh. Article permanently unavailable. Oh, man. Percy, you are so mysterious. I want to know more about you. Uh, let's see. Vincenzo Bianchi? I hope that was his name. I don't know. Bianchi? Okay, fine. I think we're done here. So, let's see. Okay, we did that. That's done. So let's get out of here and see if we could go to St. Thomas.